Greetings and blessings from the Most High. Ja, Rastafari, Crawford Ashley, the spiritual boxer. And I'm going to be talking about boxing, as I always do. And I just want to go back in time. I wish I had um, my notes here, but I'm going to... I was thinking about training, and I was training for a fight. And me and Bob, Bob Padgett, were working on parrying the jab with the right hand and dipping down and coming up with the right uppercut now we worked on that every day for about I'd say two week yeah maybe two week three week and in the end Bob just said forget it because I couldn't get it I just couldn't get it I didn't didn't understand I didn't know I understood what he was on about with me. I couldn't get my body into that position and I've been working on it and I've been going over in my head and then when Bob just just said forget it. We'll just forget it. And then about I think it was two fights later, I'm fighting Roberto Dominguez. And in the third round he threw a sloppy jab, parried it with the right hand, dipped my knee, boom. Knocked him out with a right uppercut. And as I walked back to the corner, Bob just looked at me and just says, you could have knocked him out with a punch we'd been practicing. <laughs> and that just says it all for me. So sometimes you can't get a certain move in the on the pads, sparring. You can't just, it just don't seem to work. You're not in that right position. But your mind's been playing and it's been, for me anyway, trying to picture out how to throw it. This isn't in the gym when I'm doing it. And we'd only do it for maybe, I don't know, three or four minutes, trying to work it. You know, not three or four minutes straight, just through. This pad session, right, we're going to try that, try it again. And do it maybe 10, 11 times. And it was programming into my mind. And I was just thinking of fighters nowadays. How many people would listen to the trainer to try and practice something that amount of times with having no feeling of any result, but yet you're still willing to work because you trust your trainer. And then him, for him to know that it's already sunk in that it doesn't matter now, no more. And just leave it, it'll come to it. And that's how I kind of train. That kind of way it's show moves. If you have a look at Theo, I'm doing the basics, but then I'm doing advanced basics. But they're not really advanced, they're just basics. It's just that they normally come in a bit later on. It's like with a jab, practice your jab from I position bam out straight that's the basic one that's the first one but then there's different variations on the jab there's the screw shot where you just turn it and it comes up and it comes through the guard at a different angle that's people say that's an advanced and no, that's just a variation on the basics practice them practice all the variations on the basic and come up with your own style and your own formula for how it works because how certain punches work for me because I'm six foot three and I'm uh, slim. I'm gonna work for somebody who's five foot eleven and tubby. You know what I mean? You've got short limbs, your body moves differently. So you gotta find some of that works for you. We're not all built the same, that's why boxing is so fascinating because every time you go in with somebody, you're going in with somebody different. Even your sparring partners, you might have sparred with them hundreds of rounds. Then all of a sudden they'll do something different because they're learning and you're learning. And it's it's a puzzle and I like puzzles. I don't know if I'm waiting on, but I'm just talking anyway. Because I like talking about boxing and what I've learned and passing that kind of knowledge on. And it's like swapping the jab. Another one that's a basic one it's when the guy's got a good jab just stick your hand there and hold it solid so when the punch is coming in as soon as the punch lands just send your shot out bam 
right on point because you know he's in range but it seems like defence for me has gone out of the window with boxing boxing is about not getting hit hit and do not get hit and no matter how you do that if it's working for you keep doing it you know if you're getting it you're doing something wrong change be able to adapt like I say and like I, anybody who comes with me in the ring is a very dangerous place and you can get hurt in there so what do you do me personally my philosophy was to get him out of there as quick as possible so I'm in less danger I'm not in there to run I'm in there to get rid of the danger which is in front of me which sometimes works sometimes it don't it all depends and then all you do is you dust yourself down when it don't work go back to the drawing board and see what other skills and what other tools you can put in your box for the next time you get in the ring there's no shame there's no disgrace and I find certain things kind of like fascinating with the boxing community or the so called boxing fans they've got these arrows of theirs and then they have one loss and then they're no longer an arrow they're a bum they're this they're that and the third thing and I find that kind of fascinating because to know what it actually takes to get into a ring anybody who gets into a ring in a bum in a bum you know the first time is an all new experience you go in the second time you know what you got your roof for you know what you're going through and all them little voices in your mind what are they saying what they're talking about and then to still get into the ring that don't mean you're a bum that means there's something about you and remember that all these people outside who are chatting who've never been in a ring in their life get down to a boxing gym when they're open and learn it learn it you say you like boxing get to the boxing clubs learn it there's different types there's boxing clubs which are like community centres that's the grassroots of boxing that's like the Bethlehem club it's a club it's a family the rates are high and then you've got boxing gyms where it's a commercial business where they need paying we all need looking out for our time, so, you know what I mean, choose the one you want to go to. Sometimes if you go into the community gyms, there might be one trainer or two trainers in there. And they've got maybe 20, 30 kids or 20, 30 people who want to learn to box. So the classes are intense. Well, they are basically one on one, but you're getting a feel for what it's like. And then sometimes they'll let you spar. And then you'll know what it's like. And then I think you'll have a different outlook on fighters who get into the ring. Some fighters are just outmatched. They're outclassed. And it's not about that. It's about the matchmaking. So don't blame the boxer. Blame the matchmaker. For me. Anyway. That's a bit of a rant for today. Well, I'm not going to call it a rant. That's a little bit of a chat and how I see boxing. If you like, I'm going to try and do two or three a week. Now we're in this, oh, I'm not even going to talk about because it it's shite. It's a lot of bollocks. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be doing some more of these little bits of, I don't know. As my friend would said, said once, you give out nuggets of information and some of them are golden nuggets and just take them use them play with them because what i want to see is better boxing and when you've got better boxing you've got safer fights people don't get injured as much because they're not a rider punch you're not taking a punch full on and if they do they're not taking many of them and i think it makes better boxing because at the moment it's just fighting and fighting to me is not boxing you've got MMA for that and it's like I've had people come up to me and they get a bit of offended when they say to me 
I love boxing, but I don't like Mayweather. And then I just turn around and say, hey, you don't know boxing. And they get offended at that. And I just smile. You know what I mean? If you like boxing, you've got to be a fan of Mayweather. No matter what type of person he is, we're not talking about a person, we're talking about the skill in the ring. If you're a boxing fan, you've got to be a fan of Mayweather. Simple as. And another thing, I'm a big AJ fan. I'm a massive AJ fan. And I'm also a massive Tyson Fury fan. And I'm so hope the fight is made because then boxing fans actually win. And that's what people don't get. With the fight it's made and the fight goes ahead, the, the boxing fans win, which to me is what it's all about. And I think AJ is learning constantly and all the way through from his defeat to Ruiz's people know I just thought that was just mentally took it too lightly and when they realised he was in for a fight <laughs> his mind was in the wrong place but he learned from that he came back and he controlled the fight from start to finish that's boxing learning to be in control and control the fight control his emotions and he did that perfectly and then in <coughs> the last one I seen where he were he perfected the jab now I just come back with a straight right hand. You know what I mean? You've got the tools in the box. Double jab, straight right. You know, you've got the uppercut, you've got the hook. Just work on them. And for Tyson to me, I just think he's he's got too many tricks in his in his box, in his arsenal. He'll know how to mess him about, play AJ, get him out of his rhythm. And I, I think, me personally, I think um, Tyson Fury has got a little bit too much boxing skill. And I think if he keeps it together, which, yeah, I think, well, I think Tyson Fury wins the first fight. But I think AJ learns so much from him. And I don't think it'll be an easy fight for either of them. But then again, AJ might land and catch Tyson. But... We all know what Tyson's chin's like. But the one thing I can say, Tyson can't take AJ as a dosser. So, this is Tyson's hardest fight. Because AJ's not a dosser. We know that. Anyway, till tomorrow, or the next day, or till the other side, or to whichever side you want to be on. I ain't really bothered, don't really care. Other people's opinions of me don't matter to me. My opinion of me is that it matters. And it always has done and it always will do. And that's what boxing taught me. A lot of people think I was shit. That's great. Feel like that. A lot of people thought I was good. That's great. Feel like that. Doesn't make no difference to me. All I want to do is improve. Anyway, see you later.